everyone. So today we're going to try or we're going to do a new dish. It's a very, very exciting um, dish. It's called Murg Masalam and I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. It's a dish from that originates from the royal palaces of India and um, though I'm not of the Muslim faith myself, I have many dear friends who are and a very special friend actually who, who's uh, from that faith and in honor of her and my other friends I am going to be doing for the first time an Eid special and for the Eid special I'm going to be preparing Morg Masalam. It's a very beautiful dish, very elaborate dish uh, comprising chicken, saffron, lots of nuts, lots of marinating and different spices. It has rose water, it has so many amazing um, spices and uh, beautiful flavorings. So I'm really looking forward to this. I hope you stay tuned and watch this episode. I'm sure you will enjoy it. Thank you and see you very, very soon. So there's, of course, a very elaborate process in making this recipe. It's not a quick cook, for sure. It is quite elaborate. And in fact, even for the marinating part, there is a two-part process just for the marinating part. There will be a filling, a stuffing, and there will also be a gravy. So it's um, quite elaborate, but it is, I think, definitely worth the labor. So first of all, I wanted to show you the first part of the marination process. I have the whole chicken, um, and what I've done is I've done gashes across the chicken. Um, there are more gashes here and in the leg uh, area, leg thigh area, and also under. And what I'm going to do right now is show how to do the two-step marination process, which the first part will involve some salt and lemon juice. But before I, I do that, I wanted to show the insides, of course, are cleaned out. So now I'm going to just go and show what I have here, which is I have some lemon juice with some salt. And I also have, and this is quite interesting, I think, um, I have some rose water with some saffron threads. Now that's quite a bit of saffron thread threads that I have in here, but I think it gives a very beautiful yellow color, which will uh, certainly add um, visual appeal to this dish when it's uh, finished. Um, but for now, let me start with the lemon juice. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to pour it over the chicken on both sides and I'm going to um, rub it into the inside of the chicken, turn the chicken over and do the same for the other side of the chicken here. So I'm going to do that and I will be back with the saffron. 
So I finished rubbing the salt and the lemon juice inside and over and around the chicken and inside the chicken as well. Um, this is definitely going to help to tenderize the meat and make it soft and juicy. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the um, part where I have the saffron. And I'm just going to do the same thing, which is rub this in, this mixture into the chicken. And both sides and inside as well. And I'm going to marinate this for a few hours so that the flavors are infused, uh, sorry, the chicken is infused with the flavors of the lemon juice and the saffron and the rose water. And it's going to be very, very flavorful. This is the inside layer. And after I do that, I'm going to do the outside layer. But while the chicken is marinating, I will do the filling. So I'm going to continue this, put it in the refrigerator to marinate, and I will be back to do the filling. So returning to our marinated chicken, uh, we can see that uh, the juice is here, and I've been basting it as much as possible during the marinade. What I want to do now is show the second marinade. This was the first with the saffron, the rose water, and the lemon juice and salt. And now what I want to do is show you um, the rest of the ingredients. So I have, this is a little bit unusual. This is um, some coriander chutney that I will be adding to some yogurt. And I have uh, minced ginger, minced garlic. And one of these is cumin and one of these is coriander. So I'm just gonna mix this all in. And once I do that, I am going to be just rubbing this in I'm going to be rubbing this into the chicken as I did as I did the first marinade so there you go. So I'm going to be taking this and just simply marinating the chicken with it. And after that, I will be back. So here we are getting ready to do the filling. And it's going to be a lot of fun, I promise you, because there is a lot to do here. So first of all, I'm going to show you my ingredients that I've prepped and I've got ready. So I have turmeric. I have ground cumin. I have um, ground cumin. I have ground coriander. I have cayenne, I have uh, cloves, and I have cardamom. And these two are going to be my garam masala. And I have some more spices. Actually, I'll just bring this along with me to show you. And I have quite a bit of cayenne because this is a whole chicken. And we like things hot, but we don't have to put that much cayenne. And uh, we have some tangerine masala. And this is called kesari meti, which is fenugreek leaves. We have two boiled eggs, we have our chopped onion, we have uh, minced ginger, minced garlic, we have our keema meat, it can be your meat of any choice. Um, I don't eat lamb and one of the recipes I was looking at called for lamb, so I'm just using my own meat here. of tomato paste and this, which is something that I think is really going to make it, it's a blend of almond, poppy seeds, and um, cashew nuts. And it looks quite milky, and all I did was just put it in the blender and add some water. There's no oil, it's just, sorry, it's just water and the nuts and the poppy seeds. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go to the frying pan, and I'm gonna start frying these onions. So I have quite a bit of onion. I have, this is only half of what I have. Quite a bit of onion here. And as I've said many, many times, every person has their own preference, but I really, really like to do the onions and then add the ginger and the garlic because I, especially for the garlic, I don't want it to burn. And 
and I'm not going to be adding salt to this. A lot of people would, but with the tandoori masala, I find that there's a lot of salt in there. Now there goes Scooby. It's starting to look very nice. So I'm going to add the ginger and the garlic. Scooby! Oh, I know what it is. He doesn't want anyone to come and eat this chicken. He wants it all to himself. Scooby, no, honey. Okay, so I will continue to let this cook. So my ginger and garlic are cooking away. And I just, what I'm doing right now is I'm just starting to add all the spices that I have including the garam masala and it's putting oh my gosh it's always smelling good but now it's smelling even better it's smelling really really nice and you want to make sure you don't end up burning the spices you have to be very very careful about that and so I have the spices added and the Sorry, methi, or the fenugreek leaves, they're dried, but they really do add something very special to this dish. It's very, very nice. So to this, I'm going to add my tomato paste, my tomato sauce, or my tomato paste. I use tomato sauce, and I'm going to add in my nut puree. Oh, wow. Oops. Wow. Oh, that looks great. Very, very fragrant. And I thought it was a little liquidy, but it looks like the texture is, I thought the, sorry, the almond cashew mixture was a little liquidy, but it seems like it's going to be just great the way it is. Perfect consistency. Now what I'm doing is I'm adding in my meat and um, because this is a filling and because this is going to be cooking inside the chicken, I have uh, to say that what you don't want to do is cook, you want to cook it lightly, but you don't want to overcook it because it is still going to be cooking inside the chicken. So I'm going to be blending that in, mixing that in. it looks more reddish in the camera for some reason but it is actually incorporating very nicely into the sauce and now what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna uh, cut them I'm just gonna add the whole boiled eggs gently and I'm gonna make sure that they're each well coated with this filling and I'm just gonna continue to stir with that but that's basically what I'm gonna do and then I will add just a few more ingredients but that is really the basic filling. I'm going to be adding some more stuff later, but for now, I'm just going to let this rest. There was one final ingredient I wanted to add, and that is some sultana raisins. I couldn't find the raisins, and now I found them, and I just added them in, as you can see, and it looks just delicious. The filling itself looks amazing, and here are the eggs. And so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take this chicken, so I'm going to take this chicken and I'm going to stuff it with the filling, okay? So I have the chicken here and I have my stuffing. I'm just going to put the eggs whole and I'm just going to push them in. I'm not going to cut them.
Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I think that's pretty, pretty okay. I don't think we need to put any more. Maybe just a tad I've more. seen a chicken lay an egg, but I've never seen an egg go back into a chicken. <laughs> yeah, that's a very good thing. Very good observation. So there you go. And then we're going to wait. And I'm going to be back for the next part, which will be frying this and cooking it over the stove. So I will be back. Stay tuned. So I'm just about to fry my chicken and then make the gravy and then do the final cook on it. But before I do that, I wanted to show my next step, which is preparing the ingredients for the gravy. And for that, I have some more cashews, uh, sorry, cashews here, and almonds. And if you can look, if you can see uh, with this close up here, I've got some fennel, I've got some cardamom, the, the green pods of cardamom. I have some cloves and I also have a mix of coriander seeds, fenugreek and fennel. So these seeds here are, it's really hard, sorry. Let me see if I can do a better, better job here. Yeah, so these ones are coriander, the round ones, these are fenugreek and the fennel ones look like, like these ones here. They're sort of elongated. They're sort of like a oblong kind of shape. So I have those and what I'm doing is I'm dry roasting them. And after they finish dry roasting, I'm actually going to be, excuse me, I'm just going to be putting them in the blender and uh, blending them into a paste with a little bit of water added. So that is going to be my dry roasted spices. And let's check on, in on our chicken, which has been marinating and it looks amazing. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this chicken and I'm gonna fry it in this Dutch oven, or I think this is a, called a Dutch oven. So I'm gonna be frying it in here and then I'm going to set it aside, make the gravy and then cook the chicken in the gravy. So I will be back to do all those things. So here is the whole chicken with the stuffing and as you can hear and see it is being fried. I'm frying it in the Dutch, I'm going to call this a Dutch oven and basically um, I'm going to be doing the bottom side and then I'm going to be flipping it over so that it is not completely cooked by any stretch of the imagination but that at least this way, what will happen is that the skin, by the way, which I should have mentioned, I did leave on traditionally, it's taken off, but I decided to leave it on for additional flavor. So the, the skin does get crispy and browned a bit on both sides. I will then take the chicken out, make the gravy, and then put the chicken back in with the gravy to simmer on low. For about an hour and I will add a little bit of water to the gravy as well. So let me, so as you can see it, it is sizzling and I will do both sides and we'll see how that goes. So I have my beautiful onions frying away. I added a little bit of salt to help with the caramelization process, but I'm not gonna completely caramelize them. I should say with the sweating process, with the cooking process. So I have them translucent, and I'm going to add ginger and garlic, minced. To this, I'm going to add. I'd like to show it actually first before I add it. This is the paste that I created with the roasted nuts and the spices that I was roasting together with the nuts. So I'm just going to add that in. I just put that in the blender with a little bit of water. I'm just going to lower the heat a little bit. 
to this I'm going to add the tomato sauce. Mix everything together. And I'm just going to roll the heat. And finally, I'm going to add, before I add any water, I'm going to add some coconut water, coconut milk. To make the gravy even more rich. Is the turmeric to give it some yellow color and we have lots of coriander in here so I'm just going to stick to about half a tablespoon of ground cumin okay so now we're almost ready to put the baby is almost ready and we're going to put the chicken in Mix it together and add some water and put on low heat. Yes. Okay, so we have a nice color on it. And Okay, so we have this beautiful color on the chicken. Our gravy is done. And we're just going to flip the chicken over very, very, very gently. We have, as I was saying, we have this beautiful chicken. We just flipped it over. We fried it on both ends. And we still have the stuffing inside with the egg. It was coming out and we just put it back in. So now we're going to just take the gravy and put the gravy, pour the gravy on the sides of the chicken. On the sides of the chicken, yes, exactly. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And what I'm going to do now is just uh, add a bit more water, maybe up to here, and then cook it as is on medium to low for about an hour. And let's see how it turns out. It looks absolutely incredible. So we're just going to be putting some water. Yes. Maybe just a tad more, just a tad more, just a little bit more, a little bit. Okay, so there we go. And now we're just going to cover this and I will be back once the chicken is ready. And I think it's going to be very, very good. So I'm just checking in and it's been about approximately 45 minutes on medium and it looks really really good but I'm still gonna do what about another half an hour maybe on medium and you can see this beautiful gravy and some of the garam masala oh my goodness I'm very very excited to have this oh it looks amazing and the smell is out of this world it looks absolutely amazing there was more gravy, but I kept the gravy. I put a little bit over the chicken, and I have some saffron rice with cashews and carrots julienne and raisins. And it really looks like a meal fit for royalty, which is what, it, which is the idea, which is what this dish originally was for. It was served in the royal palaces. So uh, we're gonna start eating and I am so like excited because this looks so amazing. If you can just take another, yeah. I think it looks amazing. So does it get any better than this? I have the chicken here, a piece cut here. I have part of the filling. Maybe if you can look, yeah. I have part of the filling. It looks so good. And we have one of the eggs 
and we have the rice with the all the various things in it so I'm just gonna start and just taste a little bit of all of this mmm the saffron rice it's just wonderful the mince is very very beautiful it's beautiful hard-boiled egg mm. gonna try to just gonna use my fingers mm. the chicken has absorbed the flavors of so many different spices very 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 tender juicy and beautiful very tasty very very tasty so this was maybe the most elaborate dish that I've done on this channel but I'm very glad I did it and it was a lot of fun and it was a challenge and I think we need challenges sometimes to keep us occupied and to give us motivation and we need to try even harder during a pandemic to keep our motivation and our joy for life um, you know to keep it up and I think this was a wonderful exercise so this was part of my eat special and um, I might be doing a few more dishes but um, I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did I hope you give this video a like and I would like to say that I will have more interesting and exciting videos in the days and weeks to come so if you enjoy this one please like the video and subscribe for more interesting videos to come in the, in the weeks to come, in the months to come, and maybe even in the years to come. So thank you for watching. Take care, God bless, and stay well, stay healthy, and stay safe, and bye for now. Thank you.